Explosions have hit the capital of Iraq's autonomous region, Arbil. So far, it's known that two people were killed, another 18 injured. That's what we've heard. A high-ranking security official said four car bombs exploded near the headquarters of the Iraqi Kurds security services in the city. A rare event, I should say, in an area usually spared the sort of violence which has plagued the rest of the country. Well, the BBC's Samantha Barry is in our bill and uh, heard the explosions uh, and joins me now. Sam, just give us a, a, a picture as to, to what it's like in the city uh, on the back of this uh, attack. Well, as you said, it's a, a very rare event since I arrived in our bill. A lot of the conversation I've had with local people is how safe this is as a region. I mean, the blast today were the first to hit the city since May 2007. So just around 1.30 local time, as I was making my way to the centre, we heard an explosion followed by gunfire, and you could see the, the smoke in the background, which is about two kilometres from where I am. Now, what we do know is that at least four car bombs have been detonated near the headquarters of the Iraqi Kurdish security services. Um, un unspecified number of casualties in, uh, at this stage, but there is a lot of talk about whether one of the explosions um, were in, was in an ambulance that was detonated after people rushed to check for casualties. Um, this region is relatively safe in Iraqi standards, so um, as I said, there hasn't been a, a blast since May 2007, and it's a very autonomous region. Um, they have a regional parliament, they operate their own security forces, they op operate their own visa regime. So now a lot of the, uh, the, the roads around the airport, a lot of the roads around the, the capital have been closed. And in terms of local people here, they're very surprised at what's happened because it's relatively safe in Iraqi standards. Samantha, thanks very much indeed. Samantha Barry in Arbil for us.